Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I will explain about a brief history about Indonesian curriculum starting from curriculum 47. Okay, first off, we have Rencana Pembelajaran 1947. Okay, this is the first Indonesian curriculum since the Indonesian independence. Basically, it is a modified Dutch curriculum with Indonesian educational vision like politics, educational orientation towards Indonesian view. This is this curriculum is called Rencana Pembelajaran 1947, but actually implemented in 1915. 1950 because this curriculum just a modified Dutch curriculum it covers the 20th century basics educational standard such as character building and civic education next we have next we have Rencana Pembelajaran Terurai 1952 okay uh, this one is just uh, in an improvement of the previous one uh, with detailed explanation and their use in real life for its educational subject and at this point we implemented one teacher one subject next we have in 1964 uh, this curriculum is an improvement from the previous one and adds more policy notably in implementation of Pancha Wadarna program this program focus on moral knowledge emotional or artistic and physical building physical development next we have yep 1968 uh, this curriculum is the first curriculum that was implemented after the fall of Sungkarno and uh, basically it's the same like the previous one but uh, the government modifies it to be in sync with the Undang Undang Dasar 1945 and focus on enhancing the theoretic part of the subject instead of the usage in real life and more personal hands-on student development next don't worry there is still four more curriculum curriculum 1975 yep ah uh, yes this curriculum uh, emphasize more effective and efficient education and uh, according to Mujito, the director of kindergarten and elementary school development at the ministry of national education at the time this curriculum was born because of the influence of the concept in the field of MBO management or management by object, objecti, objective sorry the methods material and teaching objective are detailed in the instructional system development procedure or double PSI known as unit lessons and we have lesson plans for each unit of study next okay in 1984 okay next up we have 1984 curriculum uh, this one adds some more programs and uh, modifies something modifies some things um, and uh, it adds this one active student learning or Cara Belajar Siswa Aktif CBSA Okay Second to last We have Curriculum 1994 And Supplement Curriculum 1999 In 1994 The government updated the curriculum In effort to integrate The previous curriculum All uh, all at, w at one curriculum especially for the 975 and 84 curriculum however this combination of objective and processes had not been successful so many criticism and cause many burden 
in students and the national and the local content like bahasa jawa or for example in other region of indonesia we have bahasa lokal in there local language in there dependent on the region and we have also the arts regional skills and other depending on the region last one in 2004 we have curriculum based competency with that's the other way around competency based curriculum was launched as a substitute substitute for the 1994 curriculum a competency based education program must contain three main elements namely the section of appropriate competencies specification of evaluation indicators to determine the success of achieving competencies and learning development cbc or kbk has the following characteristic emphasizing the achievement of student competency both individually and in the in the class oriented towards learning outcomes and diversity learning activities using approaches and methods is very there's a lot of approaches not only the teachers is the source of learning but also uh, other learning can be implemented for educational elements and that's it okay that's it for my explanation part and now let's go to the next presentation now we move into the 2006 curriculum or it can be called as the education unit level curriculum the previous curriculum before 2006 they are centralistic because the curriculum in all school in Indonesia they are all same and made by the central government so the teacher not give any change to develop the curriculum or lesson plan uh, based on the students behavior schools or other factors and it can be a give strain for school especially for the teachers who carried out curriculum implementation and also for students they cannot develop their abilities and unique advantages in their area so if there is unique in their culture they cannot develop it so that's why the 2006 curriculum come as a refinement of the previous curriculum the teachers are more given the freedom to plan learning according to the condition of students, schools, or other factors. So the 2006 curriculum, curriculum that uh, the curriculum gives uh, the freedom for the teachers to develop their lesson plan uh, based on the students' behavior, culture, or school. So it can be more flexible than before the teacher can deliver into the material into the students easily and the students can receive the material and the 2006 curriculum was implies that the education unit or school is given full authority to draw up its educational plan starting from the objective vision mission structure and content of the curriculum learning load academic calendar in general the aim of implementing the education unit level curriculum or 2006 curriculum is to make the education unit independent and empowering through the granting of authority to educational institutions and encouraging schools to make participatory decision making in curriculum development so it can make 
uh, the teachers and school more creative uh, to create their lesson their own lesson plan and there is there are uh, some principles in 2006 curriculum the first is focus on what on the potential development needs and interests of students and their environment so 2006 curriculum focus uh, for the development and needs for the students unlike the previous curriculum uh, this curriculum help uh, the students to develop what their interests and uh, their needs the second is diverse and integrated the third is response to the development of science technology and art and the fourth is relevant to the needs and the next the fifth comprehensive and continuous and the last or the sixth balance between national interest and regional interest the 2006 curriculum also have some uh, characteristic the first is emphasize on the achievement of students competencies both individually and classically the second oriented on learning outcomes and diversity the third submission in learning using a variety of approach and methods then the fourth the teacher is not the only source of learning but other learning resources that meet the educational element and the fifth assessment emphasizes the process and learning outcomes in an effort to master or achieve a competency and these characteristics must be reflected in learning practices but even though the 2006 curriculum is pretty good and have many advantages it certainly can't be separated from its shortcomings the 2006 curriculum has many subjects that make students have to share their thoughts on many subjects so the students should uh, divide their thoughts uh, into many subjects this results in students not being able to absorb material from a lesson optimally so the students cannot focus on the subjects that they are learning because they have to divide their thoughts into other subjects and then for the teachers they are required to focus on completing the material so students cannot develop their potential in 2006 curriculum the teachers uh, still speak more than students so it's like uh, like teacher center the teachers should be more creative and giving lesson in class and invite students to participate more actively in class so not only the teachers who speak and deliver the material but also the students can speak uh, in class and give their opinion Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Yusuf Barudin Hussain And here I will talking a little bit about uh, Curriculum 2013 Or we say K13 K13 is a curriculum that applied in Indonesian education system uh, And this curriculum is still being applied by the government to implement the previous curriculum it's called uh, curriculum 2006 or ktsp uh, ktsp has been applied for approximately for approximately six years uh, the k13 entered into its trial period in 2013 by turning several schools into pilot school 
around middle 2013, the K-13 K-13 curriculum was implemented limited to pioneering school, namely in grade 1 and 6 for elementary school, and grade 7 for junior high school, and grade 10 in high school. A also in vocational school level, whereas in the year 2014, K-13 curriculum has been implemented in grade 1, 2, 4, and 5 in elementary school, while for junior high school in grade 7 and 8, uh, in high school in grades 10 and 11. The number of schools that become pilot schools was uh, 6,300. 26 school spread across all provinces in Indonesia. The 2013 curriculum or K13 curriculum has four aspects of assessment, namely aspect of knowledge, aspect of skill, uh, aspect of attitude, and behavior. In the 2013 curriculum, especially in learning material, there are streamlined material and added material. The streamlined materials since in Indonesian, social science, civic education, and other. Well, the material that add that added is mathematics. And the reason why the previous curriculum or KTSP curriculum was replaced with K13 curriculum because the previous curriculum was considered burdensome for students. So, uh, KTSP is too much subject matter that must be learned by students. So that even makes it permanent. Burden uh, change into this curriculum also see the condition that have existed for several years. KTSP which give a uh, flexibility to teachers make the curriculum independently for each school but it doesn't uh, run smoothly for the elementary school level there was a significant change in elementary school level uh, in KTSP there used to be 10 subjects but in K13 subject is reduced become six subject uh, and it divides into four main subject such as civil education religion indonesian and mathematics and two subject of local content such as art culture and physical education the reduction the reduction of subject in this new curriculum actually increasing the length of learn at school. The government also adds length of study in schools to contract the negative effects of uh, outside school. More free time outside of school is considered to trigger learners to do something uh, bad and or come into contact with negative action. But in 2018, K13 repaired with the new curriculum. It's called a revision of K13. Revision of K13. It is actually the same with the origin of K13. However, there are only a few that are slightly changed on the syllabus, such as uh, attitude assignment, calculating a skill score approach method and remedial but uh, other than that there is nothing has changed from this curriculum so uh, I think that's all for me and also my group Riskal and Fikri uh, thank you for your attention wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh